If you stumbled across this video, you might be thinking about moving to San Diego. Guess what? You're in luck, because in this video, we are going to talk about our favorite neighborhoods to live in San Diego. And if you stay until the end, we're going to share with you our favorite neighborhood in San Diego. Hi everyone, it's John and Elizabeth Finley coming to you from San Diego, California. If you are interested in the where to live in San Diego, where the locals like to hang out in San Diego, and also the ins and outs of living in San Diego, including all of the different towns within the San Diego, everything you need to know about living in San Diego, then be sure to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to get notified anytime we release a video of what it's like to live in San Diego, California. Here's the truth. We love making these videos because we get so many people reaching out to us about moving to or relocating to San Diego, California on a daily basis. So if you're one of those people interested in moving to San Diego or relocating, or you just want to know what it's like to hang out in San Diego, we're going to leave on the screen in the description below our contact info. You can call us, text us, email us, direct message on Facebook, Instagram, whatever's convenient for you if you are looking to make the move. We help a lot of people relocating to San Diego and we are happy to help you too. Okay, top neighborhoods in San Diego. Here we go. Our first one is Little Italy. Little Italy. Yeah. Really, really cool neighborhood. It is the Italian neighborhood in San Diego. It's just next to downtown San Diego. I mean, it's, it's just on the outskirts of downtown San Diego. Kind of like adjacent to it. But yeah, yep. it still has all the tall buildings, uh, just like much of the San Diego does. But there are a lot of new, uh, terrific amenity-wise buildings that are being put up in Little Italy. There's been a lot of nice redevelopment there. It attracts a younger crowd. It's very vibrant. You've got um, you're close to the ocean, so you've got ocean views, great restaurants, right? Oh yeah, uh, uh, my favorite is Civico 1845. That's a good restaurant. Yeah. And then you've got the classic Filippi's. You gotta come to Little Italy and go to Filippi's. It is just the classic Italian restaurant. Everything you see in the movies, it's there and the food's great. And uh, well, the streets are lined with Italian flags, so you can't miss it when you're driving through. The street scene is really cool. Um, it's like, it's yeah, like she said, Italian flags, Italian colors everywhere. And there's even this house, and you will see it, where two older gentlemen that I'm not making any claims, but they literally look like straight out of the movies from like the mafia. And they're there every single time I'm there, which it, it's just, it's, so, it's, I don't know, it's cool to see. And then you've got what was so cool in Little Italy, Italy won the UEFA championship, the European championships, and it was going off. The streets were going off. They've still got a bunch of posters and flags and stuff like that, but everyone was chanting, Italy, Italy. It was really cool. So anyway, Little Italy is one of our favorite neighborhoods and one of the top neighborhoods you should check out in San Diego. All right, so moving on, the next city that we like, and or the little area that we like to live in would be called North Park, and that's also in downtown. Yeah, it's just, just north of downtown. It's right by Balboa Park, so it's close to everything. It's central to everything. This is one of our favorite neighborhoods. Yeah, and it has a lot of um, older historical homes on it. It has um, mid-century, well, all the way from like the 1800s to early century, and then even some mid-century homes. But uh, people really like to go down there and try to find a home that they can redo. It's from great the for coffee shops, micro brews, craft brews, and as a result, it is one of those hipster neighborhoods. Yep. Young professionals, hipsters, it's great place for great restaurants, it's great for like Sunday brunch. So even if you don't live there, really fun place to go on Sundays and check it out. And they have the North Park Thursday Market where you've got live music, you've got food, you've got, it's really right. cool. And it's also known for its craft beers and its yep. boutiques. So uh, you kind of have a, a mix of everything there. Yep. It's great. So all you hipsters, that's where you want to go. And then for all of us old people who like to just go mingle around, that's where you can go too. It's really cool. Right. So moving on, we're going to Bird Rock, which is a neighborhood in La Jolla. Named after <laughs> a rock that looks like a bird. Imagine wow. that. Super creative. But it's a really cool. So it's the southern part of La Jolla right before you get into Pacific Beach. And it's got, it's known coffee for roasters. great, great coffee shops, Bird Rock Coffee Roasters, which is a great coffee shop. Some Mexican food. You've got right, some great yeah. taco shops. You've got some great eateries. It's, if you live in this neighborhood, it's walking distance to 
like the beach, you've got, it's, it's ocean close. So some of the houses you've got great ocean views and then you've got these, it's you've got infamous wind and sea beach cause that's a very, right. So it's close to there as well. Area. And you've got, um, homes that were built in the 1920s and earlier, and they're still kind of like the same. And then you've got some amazing homes that have been redone or rebuilt and it's masterpiece a, homes. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, it's a very expensive area. A lot of people are priced out of it, but it is a, a, an amazing area, not only to just live, but to kind of go walk around and check it out and see the feel of it. And a fun fact is MTV filmed its uh, season of real world there in 2011. Yep. So, so for, you might have know it from that. Right. So if you're a, if you're a real world, that's hard to say. Yeah. If you're a real world fan, <laughs> yeah, it was filmed there. Um, let's move on. Let's move on to Pacific Highlands Ranch. Well, it's a community just east of Carmel Valley. Um, it kind of gets lumped in with Carmel Valley, and it's just east of Del Mar, east of the Five Freeway in North San Diego County. But it's a really cool. Um, well, it's a big master multiple subdivision right. of single family homes, and it has some townhomes and, and condos as well. It's the suburbs for sure, yeah. but there's a lot of families and a lot of kids. So if you have younger kids, and they have great schools, right? From, yes. from K through six, middle school up to high school, yeah. um, that's kind of the draw of this area. And this is all relative. It's San Diego, so prices are expensive. It's affordable relative to what you'd pay in Del Mar or other places like that, or La Jolla down in the Bird Rock area. So this is where a lot of families end up being because it's a great family um, community, right? Yeah, and it's still part of, like you said, it's part of the San Diego Union High School District, which is a yep. coveted high school district in the area. Um, it has, uh, again, many restaurants, coffee shops, uh, a great vibrant feel in the town area of the town plaza of Pacific Highlands Ranch. And, yep. and it's newer, newer homes. So people always like the newer home feel. You're going to find it there in Pacific Highlands Ranch. Yeah, it's got the Pacific Highlands Ranch um, shopping center. And so you've got a bunch of all your amenities there that you're going to need. It's Food, grocery shopping entertainment live entertainment some bars so yeah it's really centrally located it's if even if you if you work in the south part of san diego or you work in san diego it's still close enough to where the commute is not that bad right. um, but a lot of the people a lot of the working professionals are in the biotech industry in sereno valley and uh, La Jolla Mesa area. Right. Um, so there's so much in the Carmel Valley, Sorrento Valley that you're just, it, it ends up being a hub for a lot of people who work out of the house. Right. I mean, work, they actually leave the house to work. <laughs> but you, you're close to a lot of things. You're not going to walk to the beach, but you can get in your car and you can be in the beach pretty quick. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a great community, great community for families, like we said. Um, moving on to a little bit well i guess west right we're moving west we're, we're, we're going back to the beach the del mar beach colony now this might be a little out of the price range for some people some people it's smack dab right in the middle it's an expensive area the del mar beach colony is the north part of del mar and it's the flat part from yep. streets probably 15th street up to 29th street and it kind of ends at Dog Beach, right? It ends at Dog Beach. Which is well known. Which if you're a local, you call it Rivermouth. But um, the before it was, it was Dog local, Beach, before was before it was Dog Beach, it was it was called Rivermouth. Um, and now it's just Dog Beach because that's where everyone takes their dogs to go play and stuff like that. So it's really cool. But this community is, or this neighborhood is ocean close. You have, I mean, it's right on the ocean. You have homes that are ocean front and those homes you know range from anywhere from five million up to the highest 55 has five million the highest has been like 40 42 million or something like that but um it's a really really expensive area but there are homes off the ocean and there's some older homes that are in the two million dollar range so I know we're talking big numbers, but this is San Diego and it's Del Mar, so it's all relative. So when you think Del Mar, you're like a bargain. When you when you think $2 million, you're like, it's a bargain. But the reality is it's an expensive area, but it's a really cool area because it's where everyone goes to the beach. So you're, you've got a garage, you've got a driveway, you've got the coveted parking spots, and all you have to do is walk out your door and your steps to the beach. 
this is where Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball had a home at one point. Yep. So there's, I mean, there's a ton of history with Del Mar um, that you would find out if you lived there. Right. <laughs> yes, yep. Or visit it. Yep. So professional athletes live, live along the ocean front. Um, celebrities do. Jenny Craig just sold her home there um, about a year ago. And, but the cool thing is you're walking distance to everything in Del Mar. If you want to go up to the plaza, you're walking distance. You want to go to the beach, you are right, right. there. Um, you want to go to the park, you're right there. One thing, though, you do have to get used to the sound of the train. Yes. Because the train does go through the beach colony area. Yes. And if, yeah. if you watched um, some of our other videos, this is the area that gets impacted a lot by the summer right. swelling yeah. of all the tourists coming. It's a very, very touristy area. So you do got to get used to that. But... Good news is you just get to hang out in your house and when you want to go to the beach, you go and then you come back and you're in yep. your house and you don't have to search for parking. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> okay. So we have one final neighborhood and it's the neighborhood that we put a lot of families into. And so it is kind of our, our number one favorite neighborhood from that standpoint, because it is affordable, great schools. Anyway, it's San Alijo, right? Yeah. I, I always think it's kind of a little hidden treasure because it is in the city of San Marcos. However, it is just, it's kind of a, a, a finger of San Marcos that goes down into La Costa Encinitas area. And um, it does have San Marcos schools, which are fantastic schools. Both the junior high and the elementary are there located in San Alijo. But San Alijo is a master subdivision, which has won a lot of awards, by the way, for how they've built up the whole area. But it's a whole hillside and flat area with a big thriving town center in the middle with all the anchor stores that you could think of, grocery stores, Starbucks, and a lot of restaurants. And then uh, surrounding it are all these master subdivisions that uh, really feed into that whole area and make it very vibrant. And it's cool. You have a lot of a lot of finger canyons. Um, some up, up on the hill, you have amazing views all the way to the ocean. Yeah. And um, it's close to the ocean, relatively speaking. Yep. But it's far enough away to where you're not paying ocean close prices. And that's right. what makes it so attractive. So this is a great family neighborhood. And the prices, again, relative to San Diego, the prices are really good. And family, young right. families can get in. And they have condos right there on the town square. Yep. In the town square, so you can be right on top of uh, commercial. Or you can do the townhomes that are surrounded around the community. And then what they're most well known for is probably the single family residence, though. And the single family residences range from 2,000 square feet to 4,500 square feet. So they've got some, you know, almost estate sized homes with pools and yards. And as Elizabeth said, the town square is really cool. It's got, it, it honestly doesn't feel like a, a California town. It feels to me more yeah. like a, maybe like an East Coast. I don't yeah. know. But, it's just a cool town and, um, again, affordable and a great family neighborhood. Yep. I think that's kind of the pro tip on this video. Right. For yeah. sure. So, again, thanks for checking out our video. Um, we really appreciate it. We help a lot of families, a lot of military, and just a lot of people in general relocate and move to San Diego. We're passionate about helping people find amazing places anywhere in San Diego. We've been here forever. I grew up here. Elizabeth has been here for decades and we know the ins and outs. We know the nooks and crannies and we know the secrets and we know all the tips. So if you have questions, reach out, Facebook, text, email, Instagram, call us, whatever. If you want to move here, if you're interested in moving here, reach out. We're happy to help you and we look forward to seeing you here someday. Absolutely. And I want to say one last thing is we kind of just had a hard time picking the favorite neighborhoods here, the best neighborhoods. There actually are so many more neighborhoods we could go into. But. Such a good point. Like we just yeah. scratched the surface. We scratched the surface. So stay tuned for our three hour video where we talk about all the, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but there are so many. So anyway, yeah. you guys, thanks for checking it out and we'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon.